Hey, Coach Jason with Arm Pitching Development. Welcome back or welcome to. Here we talk about pitching tips, drills, exercises, and workouts. Hey, amplify your mechanics and grow your pitching knowledge by hitting the subscribe button. Today's video, we're talking about a rapid warm up for relief pitchers. So if you're in the bullpen and you're wondering, hey, how should I prepare myself? How should I get ready? to go into the game at any point in time when the coach calls on me, what should I be thinking about? What should I be doing? What should be my mindset behind that? And we're gonna cover that in this video right now. So the first point I wanna give you guys, if you're a bullpen guy, um, regardless of this high school, college, whatever, is uh, hopefully that you'll know your role. Uh, and what I mean by that is the coach gives you some sort of idea of when you might enter in the game. Hey, uh, Johnny, you are short-term relief or you're long-term relief or you're first out of the bullpen. So that kind of gives you some mental preparation on what expectations are and, and, what, and what point you should be starting to think about your warm-up process. Um, or if you're a closer, uh, you should be you know, thinking about the end of the game versus the beginning of the game. So let's say, for instance, that you are um, uh, first out of the bullpen and coach is yelling at you, hey, uh, go get loose. We want to cover uh, what the warm-up piece is on that, all right? So the first thing I want to talk to you about is the mindset, though, the mental makeup behind that and the preparation that you want to be thinking about versus uh, just what the activities are. And we'll go into the activities here uh, and stay on with the video. So uh, mentally, you want to know what your role is, which we talked about earlier. And then the second point is, um, I want you to go in with a little more intense mindset entering into the game, knowing that you need to throw strikes right out the gates. Uh, know that you might be going in without your best stuff for that day, and, and hopefully when you go into your bullpen or the quick throws, which we're going to cover here in a minute, that you know, you're just going to find what pitch is working that day. Uh, mentally just go in and know what's working, and then when you enter the game, just be prepared to ride those pitches out and make sure you communicate that with the catcher. All right, so coach just called your name. Now what, we're running down to the bullpen. We're we've got our catcher buddy with us, we're ready to go. Uh, how, do I get, how do I get ready in, in a rapid manner, okay? And uh, the way I would treat the college guys or talk to the college guys is I need you loose in about 15 throws. So if you have a set of bands, I want you to stay on your bands pretty much every inning. Uh, as well as kind of keeping your hips loose and keeping your, your body loosened up every inning, you might just be doing something to prepare yourself mentally. So once I get down into the bullpen, I'm gonna show you guys some, some arm circles, some movements that I, I'd like to implement uh, with my guys. So one of them is, is to try to get the upper body and the lower body activated quickly. So I'm gonna show you shoulder up down. So we just take our shoulders, run them up and down, up and down, up and down as fast. And then when you get better, you can do the hop with it here. And then once you get done with uh, up downs, maybe just spending about 30, 45 seconds. And if that, that might be a little too long. So just take it at uh, 30, 45 seconds, it doesn't matter. And then we're gonna go into uh, some crossovers. So we're gonna be here, try to get into your scaps and sub scaps, just over, under, over, under, over, under. And then once you hit that, we're gonna go into some uh, shoulder circles. So on the shoulder circles, uh, you're just here, small tight circles. What I like to do is kind of activate that with the lower half and I'll go in with like a one-legged skip here and try to alter that and then just do a two-legged here. And then once I get off of that, I'll come up with my palms up and do another tight circle round and then try to elevate the blood flow that way and you'll really start to uh, warm the shoulders up pretty well that way. Once you get going with the shoulder warm up, the quick activation, if you have a set of bands with you, just do a quick set of band pull-aparts with it here, try to get, you know, nice 10, 15. And when you're thinking about activation, think about quick movements, quick twitch movements with it. So overhead, just start pulling down pretty quick. Start to get the blood flow. After about a few pulls on that, you should be pretty much ready to grab a baseball and start moving in into your uh, uh, throwing phase. All right, so you're ready to go ahead and start your throwing phase. What I suggest is you start in a rapid manner with the catcher being down at the end. Now, I don't have a catcher, so I'm just gonna use the bucket here and show you. So I wanna get my hips going. I wanna get my arm running. Uh, I'm not gonna throw it very hard, so bear with me, but shuffle in. All right, come back, catch the ball, shuffle in. And start to get your arm running uh, quickly and, and try to get a little bit behind that throw. I would say, Anywhere between five and eight throws is probably good before you step on the mound. 
All right, so now you've got your, your shoulder ready to go to get on the mound. Um, my point to you is this, get ready in about five to eight pitches. Um, and that's a little bit hard, it's hard to do, but you're gonna, the coach needs you, you need to get into the game, there's fires to put out, you're the guy he's asking to get it done. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get back on the hill, grab a ball, come set, have the catcher set up, you're just gonna start grinding out from the stretch, kind of working a little bit quickly, Get about three or four fastballs in. And then hopefully you're kind of moving at one, two, three, one, two, three, four, something like that. And then what I like to do is try to find out what off-speed pitch is going to work best for me. So you might take your curveball, see how that's biting about three times, two or three times, if that's working pretty good. And then great, you know you've got two pitches. All right, and you'll also want to do that with your changeup or if you have another pitch, a splitty or a slider or sinker, whatever your other pitches are. Try to feel one or two of those, um, your kind of your go-tos. Out of the pen, you really only need one or two pitches to get by, at least through the first inning. And then you can have a little bit more time in your, in your warm-up process. One thing to remember is that you get pitches when you enter into the game. So you want to, just know that you're going to get pitches when you enter the game. So you'll get another six to eight pitches out there when you get to warm up and you'll get to feel maybe that third pitch or just show it. Hopefully you can get out of there. Uh, remember to try to pitch to, to induce poor contact. Try to miss the barrels and uh, just be your best self in terms of going into a game. Having the right mindset as a relief pitcher is going to be extremely important for you, knowing that you need to come in and just command the zone right out the gates. You know, another important point um, beyond just, you know, heading out there and being prepared mentally to enter the game is to make sure that you're a confident guy out there. Don't go into it second guessing yourself. Be super confident in what your abilities are and what you can do. Not having your best stuff is very normal as a pitcher, okay? So you're gonna enter in the game, you're not gonna feel your best, it's okay. Pitch to contact if you need to, open the zone up a little bit, hopefully you can introduce a ground ball or a pop fly to get out of the inning. Have a good mound presence, have good body language when you enter into the game. Be a little bit of a bulldog and attack, okay? So don't sit there and be a little passive or nervous, just go into it in attack mode and you guys should be okay. Hey, if you enjoy what we're doing here at Arm Pitching Development, I invite you to hit the uh, subscribe button. And also, if you have any questions about how to warm up a little bit further or any ideas that I can give you, please enter those in the comments below. And uh, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up on the way out. Hey, and until the next episode, we'll see you later.